What's going on guys? Good morning. Y'all know who it is. This is Tripsy. And today, I'm coming up with a hack on music theory. I'm using Ghost Notes and Logic Pro X. Let's talk about it. All right, for the people that know about Ghost Notes, Y'all know that Ghost Notes is within FL Studio, right? And Logic Pro doesn't have that feature, which sucks. Um, it helps out a lot with, you know, music theory as of knowing the scales, okay? And Logic Pro has some features of that, but doesn't have what FL Studio has. I'm not trying to down Logic because Logic is the main doll that I use. Um, I used to use, I used to be an avid FL Studio user and now I switched over because I fell in love with this interface here. But I'm going to show you some tips on how to put ghost notes inside Logic Pro X. Let's get to it. All right, so here, here let me do this real quick, sorry. So I got two, uh, two sections right here. I got ghost notes and my key melodies. It's going to be It's going to be a pretty short, it's going to be a pretty short uh, tutorial. All right, so first off is we're going to create an empty MIDI region. All right, we're gonna do the same thing for the key melody too as well. But we're gonna start off with the ghost notes portion. All right, so this is what you're gonna do. It's simple, I'm not gonna hold y'all's time up. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and choose a scale. It's already on E flat, so in natural minor, and I'm gonna stick with that. All right. First thing you want to do is uh, get your brush tool out. Shortcut is going to be pressing T and then B or drop down and drop down all the way to the brush. Simple as that. So we already have the brush tool and here we go. Let's get to it. Another thing too as well, when you're doing this, when you put it actually in the scale, it doesn't let you make the mistake of putting the wrong input in the wrong uh, note in that scale. So check it out real quick. Let me get my headphones on so I can hear. There we go. So I'm gonna start out with E flat. You see, that's the wrong note, but it's not letting me do it. So I'll go to the go up the next note. You see. All right, you got your full two scales at least, all right, to give you some room to play around and be able to create some chords and also uh, add some counter melody on top of that. So now the next thing you want to do here is as, as you have it highlighted, go to functions, all right, go to mute notes on and off, all right, turn them off. Now, if I were to press play or anything, you can't hear anything, all right. And I definitely won't play it with all that stuff on because it's going to be chaotic. But you get the picture. Next is this. Go to your key notes, key melody notes. All right. But before you do that, you can't see the ghost notes, can't you? So what you want to do is highlight both at the same time. Bam, you have them there. Now, check this out real quick. The... It's, it's a little bit tedious, a little bit, but it still gets the job done. It's not effortless like how FL Studio is, but it works, all right? So when putting in your uh, putting in your notes, you're still gonna use your brush tool. Now, just be cognizant or be, just be aware that if you click any of these, check it out, if I click this, it disappears, all right? It actually disappeared, I made everything disappear. Command Z, is gonna get you back to where it was before, all right?
2,000 years later. All right, so now we got something to play with, all right? Using the ghost notes that you created. And then you can do this with every single other melody that you want to try to use. And if you want to try to switch up the keys, here are the keys right here. Go wherever, just have at it. And there's so many other scales that you can use, all right? Um, a lot of people use the natural minor whenever making, you know, certain types of beats. If you want to major, you know, if you want to try to create a pop beat, there you go. There's so many others that you can choose from and experiment with, and you can go from there. But once you're finished using the uh, the ghost notes, I got to do is deselect it. And there, there you go. You got yourself your melody. So y'all get the picture man so this was just a little tip on creating ghost notes just a short tip man i just want to push this out because this was in my head i want to give this to y'all and truly hopefully y'all do like what y'all see today man and don't forget to i mean if y'all like the video god damn it, man i'm all over the place right now all right so this was the tip all right, so this was the tip, guys. Now, if y'all like this video in any way, form, or fashion, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to, and don't forget to share this with your producers, man, because this is something crucial, man, that people, a lot of people struggle with. I struggle with it, so I know that there's other people that struggle with it too, man. We're all human. We get confused and don't understand things, man, but this is what it's about, man. We're trying to bring clarity into this music producer life. You know what I mean? So. Uh, again, I liked it. Don't forget that subscribe button. Comments. I'm out.